Hello, this is Lori with Lori Lynn Designs. I'm the soap maker here on this channel and I sell my soap to my friends and family in my community. And it's a lot of fun and it keeps me out of trouble for the most part. Today I am making a butterfly swirl soap technique in my unsoap. Unsoap for me is unscented and natural colorants. So if you don't like scents and if you don't like funky things that are not natural in your soap, this is the soap for you. But I believe that great soap doesn't have to be boring and that also means unscented soap doesn't have to be very boring. So today, soap technique, butterfly swirl, I am prepping my soap batter and I'm pouring it out to four colors. Activated charcoal for the black, kaolin clay plus a little activated charcoal for a gray color and I spent a week making alkanet root powder steeped in olive oil. By putting the powder in a jar of olive oil and saying, hey, sunny window, come do my job. Give a little shaky shake and after a while you have alkanet root powder in olive oil diffused very nicely that you can use as a soap color in, which looks red then turns this lovely blue color which turns a lovely pink color in the batter. So the butterfly technique is with a base color that I poured in here and then you take your accent colors and you pour them in straight lines down where you want them in your your soap. So I decided that I would make two bars share the same line because it's in the slab mold. So I am doing three lines. So those two are going to share, the next two bars are going to share, and the last one's going to have its own little special um, wings on its own. The magic comes in the hanger tool and how you swirl it. So I'm going to put up a picture of what I was trying to achieve in the swirl pattern. Um, and then I, it's, it's hard to know when you've done enough. So I think it's one of those things you just have to do a lot. So you just kind of swirl it in on one side and all of that. And then I didn't think that was enough. So I swirled it again on the other side a little bit bigger. So maybe, I don't know, we'll see at the end. I had an art teacher once who uh, she would come around and she would yell at you if you overworked your piece. And she would yell in your ear, drop your brush and it would scare you, so you literally dropped your brush. But it was her way of saying, you know what, you did good enough. If you use it anymore, if you work your piece anymore, you're gonna mess it up. So this is definitely one of those, drop your brush, drop your hanger tool. So technique type things. So the top today, I'm just gonna put a little of my accent colors on the top and do a little cutesy swirl because I can. And I always think that a soap top is kind of fun. That's the most fun part of everything, right? It's a cute little thing on top that you could do, a little extra special. And that alkanet root powder looks blue. It would be really cool if it stayed that color, but it will definitely turn purple and then mellow out to pink for me. I think there's a way to get it darker. I'm not really sure how to how to do that yet. So if you have any uh, tips and you know, pointers for me, I'd love to hear how you get your Alkanet Root Powder really dark color in your soap. And then there's the pretty little swirl on top. And of course, it's my unscented natural soap. So I'm gonna stick a little bit of sea salt chunks on the top just for a little extra added interest. And of course, I did that off screen. So. We are unmolding it now, and if I did everything right, I will be cutting those butterflies straight in half. I'm pulling the wings off the butterflies. Did anybody ever do that? Was I the only one? I know, it's me. Okay, maybe I never, no, I'm not saying I ever did that. I didn't say anything at all. But from the cut, it looks like it should do something. It should work but it's all in the cut, right? So let's see. Here we are. And you can see where, it, you know, it's that one-sided swirl, which I think is the point. So I'm not unhappy with this. It's interesting, it's cute, but it doesn't quite look like a butterfly. So 
loaf too. Let's see. Oh, that one's not as that looks like a bat. Did I make a bat? Did I make a kitty? I don't know. What does that look like to you? It's still again, it's not ugly, it's just not a butterfly. So that's more of a I don't know, a mothy thing. Okay. Oh, that's more color. Okay, I get more swirls with this one. Ooh, that's getting closer. Not bad. Ooh. That's getting really close. Let's see. There you go. Spider webby, but it still has a nice kind of fun swirly design. Okay, good. And the last try, let's see, did I make it on the last try? Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. There's the butterfly. There you go. So that's today's design, the butterfly swirl technique. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.